Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a trading-based application built in C++. Basically, this application in C++ helps us to analyze where, when and where to sell and buy stock accordingly on that particular day in which the price is at price of stock is at its maximum and the price of stock is at at the minimum. So when the price of stock stock is on the minimum value. We'll buy the stock, and when the price of that particular stock will be at its highest value, we'll the, we'll sell the stock accordingly in order to achieve the maximum profit. So basically, this will this application in C++ help acts as a helping hand with the in to the people in the trading the trading domain and trading sector. So as far as building this requirements, uh, as far as requirements of model building is concerned. it requires c++ programming language and a visual studio code or any other ide on which c++ can be easily run so let's get started by having a look on the code so initially we have imported all the necessary libraries that is bit standard c++ this is basically the father of all libraries in c++ so this is the main library we have included out here next we have created a function as stock by sell in in which we have passed two parameters n and a price array basically this is this array contains all the uh, values in the form of uh, price of a stock then we have find the local minima and the local maxima in that particular array as you can see that we have iterated through this particular array i have added some comments in order to make the video more understandable and clear initially we have iterated through entire array and we have find the local minima and local maxima accordingly and accordingly we have stored that in index in the particular variables in the form of buy and sell so basically once we have found found, found that this particular value is at its minimum value and this particular stock is at its minimum uh, value a uh, price we will accordingly buy it and if we will find the maximum value in the array or maximum element in the array which implies that on that particular day the price of the stock was at at its maximum so we will sell that particular stock on that particular day so basically this will give a brief idea about when to sell stock and when to buy stock in order to achieve the uh, maximum profits so we have uh, found local minima and local maxima of an array uh, accordingly we have, we will decide then when to uh, sell and when to buy the stock in this case we have passed uh, an array as price array where the this is basically the price of stock prices on consecutive day as you can see it is written as stock prices on uh, on consecutive days so it's 100 it's 180 it's 260 it's 310 40 535 and 695 so basically i would write here as a comment that the uh, least value here is here is i guess 40 yes and the maximum value or, or i should say highest value out here is there is i guess 695 so according to this data we'll sell this sell a particular stock or we'll buy a particular stock on this day as it is at its minimum value and we will sell this particular stock on this day as it is in its maximum value within the whole price array so this is basically a function in which will help uh, which helps us to analyze the data of a price uh, array and helps us to know that within we, on which day we need to sell the stock and on which day we need to buy the stock so we have this is basically a, a function in which we will finding the local minima and local maxima of that function and initially in the main function we have declared a static array of prices which which consists of stock stock prices on consecutive days we have seen least value and highest value then we have created a variable n which which consists the size of this particular array and then we have called this particular function in which we we have found the local minima and the local maxima of that array so that we can imply finally so that we can infer finally that if the stock price is at its minimum we will buy the stock and if the stock price is at its maximum we'll sell the stock in order to gain maximum profits so as you can see let's see the 
output of this of this code. I guess it will say, let's have a look on this output. Let's hit a run button. So it's saying that buy on day zero, sell on day three, buy on day four and sell on day six. So as you can see that this particular data is saying that uh, buy on day zero, sell on day three. So buy on day zero, sell on day three and it's saying that buy on day four and sell on day six, buy on day four and sell on day six. So as you can see that the code is giving the correct output as if we will do a, a, this particular uh, activity that if we buy on day zero and sell on day three will give the max will get the maximum profit and accordingly, accordingly if we'll buy on day four and sell on day six, we'll get accordingly the maximum profit. So in this case, we can buy and sell the uh, stocks multiple times. There are various applications in the trading software or in the trading trading domain that a person is only allowed to sell and buy the stock only one time. But in this case, we have considered that we need to, we have, we can, I can write it here. We can sell and we can sell and buy the stock multiple times. That's why we are getting the output that you need to sell on buy on day zero, sell on day three, uh, buy on day four and sell on day six. So this was guys basically an entire C++ code in order to make aware the people how to sell and how to uh, buy the stock on which day to sell the stock and on, on which day to uh, get the stock, stock in the trading sector in order to get the maximum profit. I hope guys the things are precise and understandable enough. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. For more interesting stuff in technical domain, please do hit a subscribe button to our YouTube channel that is my project ideas and till then keep growing and keep exploring. Thank you so much guys.